Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafts Creations. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm showing you how I am creating my mini notebooks. And they're just a simple 10 page notebook. And they're filled with five different sheets of paper. And I usually carry these in my craft fairs. And last year because of COVID, there were not many craft fairs, so I didn't bother to restock. Now I'm uh, booking craft fairs again. So I've decided to restock my notepads and all my stationary products. I didn't do much of creating in the past year because of them canceling everything. So I'm working on creating them again. They're approximately six and a half inches this way by four and a half inches this way. And I just put a simple belly band and I rounded the corners on the belly band instead of rounding them on the notebooks this year. I feel it gives a stark contrast. So I'll show you how I make those. And I start with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I'm working on another camper one. This is going to be my cover page. And then these other three here will go on the inside. And I just have to decide how I want them to go. So I think I'm going to separate them just like that and have them go like this. Now when you purchase sheets by the single, they have barcodes on them, so I just want to make sure that these don't, and this one does, so that's going to be my guide on where I cut. So like I said, I want them to be six and a half inches wide, so I'm going to bring this sheet, oops, I forgot I have to trim off the tops because some of the papers have the barcode up here. So I'm just going to trim a little off just to eliminate that. And it caught on the top there. But I'm not going to worry about that because it's going to be cut off. I'll just grab my scissors and trim that part off of there. So like I said, I need them to be six and a half inches wide. So I'm going to take this part and that's going to be the part that goes in my cutter. And I'm going to bring them to six and a half inches on the top here. And I'm just going to cut that down. And I'm going to save this piece for later. It's going to go in my basket of excess papers that I go and trim later. And now I want them to be four and a half wide. Sorry, height wise. And mine is like right over the line of the separator. And again, this will go into my hefty basket of scraps. And I picked this basket up at Dollar Tree. It is really big, really tall, and all my paper scraps go in there. And then when it's full, I go through and cut them down to other pieces, make confetti out of them. So now that I'm done with the paper cutter, I'm gonna move that out of the way. The next step is going to be really easy. You can use your scoreboard, but I just line up the pages and just fold them right in half. I'm going to do that with both of them. And I can see I have a little bit that my cutter missed, so I'm just going to trim that a little. And again, I'm just going to bring the ends together, making sure they line up and fold. And I'm going to grab my stapler. And I'm just going to line that fold up with the line on the stapler. So they go on the seam. 
and then just fold it down set it aside and as I'm doing it I'm also lining the paper up on this edge as well so there we have it just like so and I already pre-made some belly bands because I am filling um, my stock again so all I did was take a eight and a half by eleven cardstock and cut it down in one and a half inch strips And then I used my corner rounder on only one side and then cornered them all. And I'm going to take my ATG tape and just do a couple runs on the part that's rounded. Then the part that is going to be um, where it opens is going to get it over a little. And then I just line it up. You want to keep your belly bands loose because you want them to be able to slide because your customers are going to want to look at the notebooks and see what's inside for papers. Or you can take a little, if you have extra paper, you can do a little scrap and, and put it on the back so that they can see the papers. And there you have it. It's just a simple little notepad opens up all the way you can put photos here um, little pictures little mementos from your trips little camping trips little flowers that you find you press them and put them on the inside and that's it I was able to get two out of a 12 by 12 sheet and I still have extra paper left over as you can see, I still have all of this left for another project. And you can make smaller ones if you want. You don't necessarily have to have them the same. They'll be just a, a little skinnier than the notebooks that I do. So they'll be a little bit skinnier. So you can go ahead and make those as well. But that's it. That's how I make the little belly bands. I sell them for about a dollar um, in my craft fairs. Little kids like them. Um, they are great to go in little gift baskets. And that's it. It's a simple way to use up your scraps as well. If you want, just want to have scraps that measure however um, the width you want. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.